Hey guys, uh, Travis here with uh, Salty Southern Fishing. What I'm going to do today is give you my review and quick analysis on my Big Fish 105 uh, Three Waters Kayak. Um, I got this a couple months ago and, and so far it's been awesome for me. Um, definitely taken out a few times and seen some pros uh, and some cons, but um, let's go ahead and get into kind of just an overview and then I'll get into some of my modifications later on. Um, but quickly starting at the back, um, what initially got me hooked on this was the really large tank well here. Um, what you got with me right now though, um, it's hard to tell, but I got my uh, little cart underneath here that I made. But really, really big tank well. Can fit um, my crate my or a cooler sometimes a crate and a cooler but my crate's pretty big and then just some extra storage down here usually so I'll store my, uh, some sort of bait bucket or you know my shoes or whatever I need down there um, works really well um, actually sometimes I struggle to come up with things to put in there I had to um, actually stop myself from doing that a little bit um, back here comes already uh, ready to go for a rudder system. As you can tell, I do not have that on here yet. Um, considering looking for potentially some modification where I could one day put a trolling motor, trolling motor back here. Um, haven't got there yet, um, but one day. Uh, drain plug, as you can see here. Um, working our way up, we have two flush mount rod holders, which uh, have been awesome for me here. And the two track six systems back here. Uh, Three Waters Kayaks is actually it, it's a sister company of Feel Free, so these are Feel Free tracks. Um, just so you guys know that a uh, little modification here, I'll go over later. But I also really, really love that. I mean, obviously scuppered holes, but three little um, iPads here that we can just <laughs> iPads. Yeah, I wish. No um, connections here that we can use. Um, I have I'll bungee my. Uh, crate down right there or my cooler depending on what I decide to take here um, some it's stuck in here but some rod leashes um, haven't really had a rod that I can actually hook these onto so what I'll end up doing is I'll loop it around and through um, that seems to work best for me um, they do come on both of them uh, but still a good little add-on that you know I, I, I like to do a lot of DIY stuff but the beauty of that is it's already there and, and ready to go for you. Uh, moving on, um, as you can see, I had a little uh, anchor trolley here. This was the Yak Attack anchor trolley. Um, works awesome. I will give a quick review on that uh, again later on. Um, but for what I need it, rarely do I patrol waters that I need an anchor, but it's always good to have. Always, always good to have. Um, right here, as you can tell, this is our system that will eventually hook up to our, our uh, uh, rudder system. Um, so doesn't come with everything, but it, it's ready to go whenever we need it. Um, I really love these molded in handles here as well. As you can see, really good grip, um, obviously on both sides. So for me, that was kind of a definite plus. Add a little bit more uh, depth from me to the water um, as I'm sitting in the kayak. Now let's move on to the seat. Um, little storage pack back here and when I'm transporting it it allows me I can pop it off right here um, I just pull sorry I gotta do this with one hand pull one pull the other and I'm off All right, and it'll flip down flip back whatever it is I need it to do um, in here I just store some I got my sunscreen SPF 30 and then of course there it is, there it is. I do have my insect repellent. Um, this is actually a really good spot for uh, any lures. Well, I'll say soft plastics. Um, probably not lures. It'll get stuck on in there. But definitely, seat is extremely comfortable. Um, the only thing I've had an issue with, and it's not a big deal, is out here where it's stitched in. Um, when you're casting and sitting there for you know six hours in a day, I notice little scratches down on my triceps, but Again, nothing that was going to really affect 
me all that much. Um, with the seat, uh, at four positions. So if I'm going to paddle a long ways, I'll go ahead and put this down to my low position here. And as you can see, I did that with just one hand. Um, and that, that puts you pretty low um, for kayak and long distances. Um, I'll get to what happens when I kayak long distances um, in a second. But next, all I'm going to do is lift up and I can pop into a mid position. I've honestly never even used this one yet. Um, I'm usually sitting up really high or really low if I'm paddling. Um, but still a good option, you know, depending on your weight and, and mobility here. Lastly, my personal favorite. Let me set this down. We're going to go up, boom. All right. And again, yeah, I took two hands there. Um, so it's not real smooth. I know like some of the other kayaks, uh, I believe the Feel Free Lure 10 is, is one hand, but I, I don't think it gets you as high as this. All right. This is, a, this is a nice high seat position. And this was a huge, huge plus for me here. Um, I do most of my fishing and probably... A lot of my paddling, I don't, I don't usually travel too, too far, um, so this works really good for me, and it's by far my favorite position. I, I, when I went from my last kayak to this, my last kayak was a sit-in, so for me, a must was being able to sit up high in my kayak and kind of have a good view and see of, you know, what was out there to stalk some fish and, and fish by sight. The other thing that sold me on this, especially with the seat, is the ability to pull this up. And boom. Okay, and what I what you do here is you take again another clip and you clip it to the back here. And there's another clip on the other side. And look look at all that sand room. Um, you know, probably good three and a half, four feet uh, of deck space. Um, what also uh, comes with this is these nice little pockets right here. I use this for all sorts of things. Um, I will post later another video where I'll show you how I have this rigged up whenever I'm ready to go out onto uh, the water. Um, but again, really nice big deck area. I just zip tied these together. These are just straps that'll hook to uh, my my uh, seat here. Not really necessary. I'll be honest. I haven't utilized this as much as I should. And the beauty of this is when you hook them both. I have this one hooked around. But when you hook them both on. It's actually extremely sturdy, and you can actually kind of lean on that for support, especially for if you're a bigger fella and want something to kind of hold on to or lean on. It's it's awesome. I'm going from the again going from the sit in to this, being able to stand up comfortably for one and have all this room was phenomenal. The only gripe I have about all this is how loud it is, and just right, it's super loud um, I'm gonna come up with something to put over here in the top um, once I kind of find out what I want um, but it's for the deck space it's not a con it's just something that I need to deal with um, at a later time and I will and once I do I'll share that with you guys but the deck space the seat which is fairly easy to adjust um, especially when sitting down um, is amazing it does come with a stand assist strap I rarely use this. I'm about six foot, 185. Um, don't necessarily need this too much. I do keep it on here, but I'm thinking that I can come up with some other tool or use for this down here at a later time. Cup holder, awesome. Fits as a big Yeti uh, with whatever you want in there, um, very comfortably. And actually, it may the, the cups. To be honest, they may tip, but they're never going to tip over. It's deep enough to where it's going to actually hold that. Um, but if you have a full cup of coffee, um, probably not recommended. Uh, here we have our so our foot paddles here. Or I'm sorry. Here we go. So from here, I'm just going to twist, and, and these are adjustable. Again, as I told you, I'm I'm about a six foot. There we go. Locks in right there. About a six foot guy. Um, I'm sitting in the high position. This is usually where they're at. So plenty of, plenty of space for really tall guys. I would say probably up to six foot four. Six foot four guy would probably fit pretty comfortably here. Um, but I'm not that tall, so I can't really say that for sure. Um, 
another uh, double sided here feel free feel free lure track I'm a Scotty mount I've got a couple um, cleats here I'll use this one for my anchor trolley to tie off on the excess rope from my anchor and then we have paddle clips there's actually both on each side which for me is amazing because I like to use my anchor or my pole anchor uh, and I'll, I'll usually strap that here if it's out um, that's a big if but that way I can just pick it up lock it in and then if I'm standing or fishing I'll go to the other side and, and do the same exact thing alright so moving on um, I'll get into the center console in a minute one thing that for me is fairly useless is these rod holders up here in rod tip protectors um, great in concept I actually was really excited about this especially for transporting um, but I'll be honest it just it didn't really flow um, you know you had the little uh, rubber cleat here come down you have another cleat to strap it in and it could go on down um, just it just didn't really work for me so what I'm going to do is attempt to figure out what I can do with this space um, plus the actual holding of the, the fishing rods was fairly simple I would just slide them in back there and they'd strap down just fine for me um, another little storage space up here if I have a tiny cooler um, this is where it'll go or more than likely this is where I put a I have a little soft bag for my lures or whatever else that I will strap down in here um, good enough space for me um, I know some people may want the big fish uh, I think it's the 12 the 12 footer is going to give you a little bit more space here um, but for me it works just fine especially I have to transport it in a little tiny Tacoma so and it only has a six foot bed I'm able to actually put this whole kayak in there and transport really no problems um, for me which was a huge which is why I went with the 10 and a half foot not the 12 foot uh, again molded in handles on the front and back which is awesome for transporting it's about 88 pounds um, so definitely something to consider if you're trying to haul this on your own I would highly highly suggest either buying or making or anchor cart I made mine super simple super cheap I will show you guys how I did that later but for me it works wonders and, and that goes over almost any uh, terrain that I've had to deal with which is usually just sand alright back up here uh, sorry about my mess here I do have just a Garmin fish finder again I'll, I'll go over how what I did to install this and why it shows this guys I'm not a real money maker here so on Amazon it was a hundred bucks on sale um, I, I bit the bullet on it and, and for me I've only used it once but worked worked amazing I use it mostly for tracking but again at a later date so with this little center uh, console here amazing for fish finder kind of what it's designed for now I will say not waterproof okay not waterproof at all um, I've had issues with water coming in um, but never got too deep so that's something to consider um, here's part of my fish finder all I did was I have a battery in there and again at a later time I just have it strapped in there so that's waterproof I do like how big it is though so I can still hold my battery and whatever else I need in here. Usually I'll put some extra batteries um, for whatever it may be, my uh, bubbler, my, my, you know, my fish aerator, um, or my soft plastics will go in here as well. Um, super easy to get to from wherever you're si situated in the kayak. Um, and then whenever you do this, it's, all you have to do is pull your handles and you're going to pop up. And from there, it lifts up. And as you can see, perfect for fish finder. That's what I have down on there as well. Um, one thing I noticed, if say you're loaded down your kayak and you come to shore, um, be careful when dragging the kayak. If for some reason you drag it from the back, I don't know why you would, but if you're dragging from the back, say hi to my dog Riggins. But if you're dragging it from the back, sand will get caught up in here and kind of clog up that fish finder, so just be careful. Um, but for me, phenomenal system as you can see I'm doing all this with one hand um, comes actually with your let me get this back out Sorry guys 
rip everything off here. Um, Pre-drilled and pretty watertight. I need to make some adjustments to my little foam insert here. But as you can see, all my fish finder electronics can come right through there. So it's if you're a guy who's definitely going to use a fish finder, um, I couldn't recommend this system enough. I believe the lure, uh, feel free lure, also comes with a very similar uh, design in that. Um, but for me, works works great. Um, going back to kind of the design of, of the kayak really really wide I believe it's 36 inches I think it has this tri hole or uh, cathedral hole design um, amazing for stability I'll show you guys on water what it does but for me I don't have any issues standing on this um, I would consider myself a fairly athletic guy um, people can judge for themselves but uh, it's pretty easy to stand in and the main reason I chose this guys was for its stability. Um, again, I was in, in a, a sit and side kayak before this and actually flipped it one time. Um, kind of got me scared for a while. But with this, I, I don't have that issue. I've never had that issue. Definitely, um, there, if you're going in some, some uh, rough surf, the water is definitely going to come over and come back in. Um, but with the sculpter hole placements, usually it drains out pretty fast. Um, I will catch water in the back that sits every once in a while, but it hasn't been a big issue for me, just something to consider. Um, the, the price, just what I was looking for, I wasn't going to go out and buy a, a pedal drive kayak for $3,000. Um, again, not a lot of money, but I, something I love to do is fish, especially on the kayak, so I wanted to invest something. Um, and I'm pretty happy with this. Um, the one downside of this with how wide it is, and the cathedral hole is as it provides so much stability it doesn't provide very good tracking or maneuverability in the water so again if you're deep water with fast moving current you're not going to go anywhere very fast in this thing um, so not for those who want to paddle by hand and go long distances in my opinion um, definitely a heavier sits, pr sits pretty heavy sometimes in the water um, but that's totally up to you. Uh, I, I can't say enough about how happy I am. There are things that, you know, I, I didn't realize, like, how slow it is on the water that maybe I would have gone somewhere different. So, again, for those of you who are traveling, you know, long distances is probably not the best um, option. But super wide, super comfortable, super stable can be out there on the water all day enough room to actually stretch my legs the open deck for me is the biggest sell um, especially with this console up here if you can I would suggest the, t the 12 for a little bit better tracking and um, just a little gonna be a little faster on the water um, but again what got me I needed a ton of research um, guys at Austin kayak I, you know it's where I got it from um, and, and you can actually buy this and finance it through um, a third party which was amazing for me um, but I didn't want to go blowing a ton of money because um, you know it's it's definitely a hobby and I can't get out on the water but once every you know two three weeks so something to consider for you guys as well um, but again I got it from Austin kayak um, do your research that's the best I can say uh, Tons of I did a ton of uh, research on YouTube through stability tests, uh, especially with this. That was just as you can tell, it was a big deal for me. Um, super comfortable, and, and I've caught a lot of fish out of it. Gotten to places that I haven't gone before because I, I just feel more comfortable in this sturdy of a kayak. Um, color I know there's two different colors. There's the camo green and there's the regular urban camo. I went with the plain Jane urban camo and Again, color is not a factor to me, actually. Just kind of chose randomly because I, I didn't really have a preference on that. Um, but totally up to you guys. So, if you have any questions, comments, uh, you can leave that uh, in the description below. Um, again, I know I, I watched a ton of YouTube videos, DIY kayak, um, Headwaters kayak, I definitely was 
on their page of lies. They did a bunch of reviews. Um, and you'll kind of find the same thing across the board. If you want that, st that tracking though to go further distances, I, I wouldn't recommend this kayak. But it, uh, I would recommend this to my best friend, which I already have. Uh -huh. So we'll see how that goes. And for me, the one thing I learned looking at all these kayaks was the resale value. I came across a guy who was actually in the Feel Free 13. And he was talking about how he bought it on Craigslist just that weekend while he was out. And he bought it for $100 less than what it was uh, originally selling for. So high sell value in all these. So I, my thought process was I'll start low. I'll start small. I believe this is about an $800 kayak. Um, and if I want, I can always upgrade. I can always sell it and, and go on an upgrade because this is something I truly enjoy. And I enjoy it a lot now. Or a lot more now because of this kayak. So thanks for tuning in. Again, any description or any updates, uh, I'll let you guys know. Um, a lot more to come, especially with this kayak. A lot of modifications that you can do with this kayak. Um, super stoked to get this on the water and do some fishing. In the meantime, guys, have a good one.